second dose vaccination appointment. I am feeling pretty good because I'm like the last person when it does happen. Okay. Yeah, I'm the last person in my immediate family to be fully vaccinated. So everybody else had it um, already. So it's just me. But yeah, my appointment today was for three o'clock. Center Point Mall Auditorium something. Yeah. Um, so hopefully there's no line, no drama, shogunas, right? And you know there's no uh, no delay or anything. Because when I saw three o'clock, I was like, what? So late? But yeah, you know, I guess they. Well, I saw in the email that they compiled two different dates together because like they want to do everybody who got their first dose um, on the 23rd, 24th, 25th and 26th they wanted to finish those people this week because as you all know you know we got a whole bunch of vaccines I think it was 800 and some thousand on Tuesday so yeah once again this is just me vlogging my experience I'm not trying to influence or encourage anybody but I'm just doing it for the cause of safety and for another big reason which I will let you all know in some vlogs coming up soon but yeah so we are heading down the road so let go Guess who's fully vaxxed? Me! <laughs> well, I know fully vaxxed means that it's two weeks after your second dose, but yeah. I am vaxxed. Yeah, my second shot. Um, wow. There was a lot of people, you know, I always have to give you all the heads up. A lot of people, as well as, it was not as disorganized this time. <laughs> I'll give them that. It was not as disorganized. Um, currently, it is. Jeez, what's the time? 4:42, and we got there like what? 10 past three or something. I didn't actually get in until closer to four, and yeah, the getting in process because it's such a long line. Because apparently they join like the three o'clock and the four o'clock appointments together, but. Um, it wasn't bad of course people were not socially distanced i don't know then rain fell thank god it had tents because the weather is kind of shaky right now every five minutes i did feel the shot by the way like at the first time around i did not feel it but this time yeah i definitely feel a little kind of tingle and i was like oh gosh i just closed my eyes because the doctor was quite unfriendly a lady i don't know she was like um hi are you being forced to take this thing or whatever i was like no i'm not you know the usual drill um if you did not see my first vaccination video go check it out but um link in the description box down below by the way but yeah she asked if he was pregnant if you're being forced if you had any adverse effects from taking the first dose um any sickness any illness did you contract covid after um getting the first shot anything like that and i was like no nah, everything was cool so yeah i feel good at least that's out of the way so yes i am now fully vaxxed it's not really burning or anything like that if you can see it there but i do feel it so yeah
Okay, guys. <laughs> um, I'm a little bit in shell shock right now. So we just ducked in to Pennywise Shogunas. I love that Pennywise. Customer service is always A1. Like, I love that. I just went in to grab a couple of things that I need. Um, so I decided to just show y'all. I don't know, but this, these bottles are like always spilling. You see, it's like wet. Good Lord. Anyhow, so this is my favorite witch hazel. It's like a little random mini Pennywise haul. Um, I'm actually in the car park of Extra Foods. My dad went in to get a lettuce. Mom said to call. Mom called and said, get one. Yeah, so this is my favorite toner is actually mine is actually finished and um i was kind of using my sister's simple toner but i hate that thing and i don't feel like it cleans my pores so definitely this is this is one of my go-to's finally got back i had to come all the way to shagonas but finally got back my curl defining mousse from lotta body i love this it smells so good and if you have any kind of kinky coily curly texture natural hair it's awesome love it love it love it so i had to get it back um then i got the simple replenishing rich moisturizer right it's sensitive for sensitive skin it's really weird because the box came like this and i thought it was open i was like oh my god but it's not open but yeah i'll open it now i just needed a really good moisturizer um it was only $40 though, so this is what it looks like. But y'all, above all that, my father <laughs> literally got, not into an altercation, but in a kind of a, a, a clash with another customer. It was so weird. Um, so, we are like in a line, right? And the line is empty. So of course, when you walk up to straight to the cashier, she just finished dealing with someone. So we just walked straight up. There was another line that had four people. And while I'm walking up to the line, I'm thinking to myself, why don't these people jump across in this line instead of just waiting? Because there's like four of them in one line. This girl decides to start a shout at my father. And she's like, um, what is wrong with you? So you just walk up? You just walk up in the line like that like you can't see the rest of us were here waiting mind you there are separate barriers huh? separate barriers for separate lines so i'm like i don't understand i really 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 do not understand so this is your lane and i mean i was so tempted to tell her like hello stay in your lane i could have said way worse but you know respect 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 for my father and as well as my surroundings and for my and for myself but i could really get out of character because i don't like people disrespecting my family i don't like it at all so she was just like what is wrong with you and she's like shouting and my father was like what like he couldn't understand then she proceeds to say um you see people like all you saw or they don't have any idea about professionalism so my father was trying to explain to her before she said that stupid comment and i'm not lying to tell you i got a very racist vibe from what she said and that's why it is i think i'm like a little not a little that's why i am annoyed right now but my father was heated because he was just like what did i do like i was just like walking up into the line or whatever so he was just like well this is our line so we walk straight up to the cashier if you wanted to come in this line, you could have switched across. It's not a problem. But I think her thing was thinking, okay, then since their line was full, he should have waited for her to come across. But you are already in your lane. Like the saying says, stay in your lane. So I don't know, like that just kind of threw me through a loop because I'm telling myself, I can't believe you would say a comment like that. You see people like all your so. And I'm telling you the way that she said it, because several people looked around at her like, what you mean by the people like all your soul? What does that mean? What does that mean? What? I legit, that was what I was saying in my mind, but I was just trying to calm him down because my father like, will shout and I don't want to cause any scene and end up on no um, like news or any kind of craziness. You know, people are always quick to pull out their phone. Mm -mm. I don't want that drama not negative you know i just not about that but like that was just crazy to me that was really crazy to me really crazy to me and i felt like i was in two minds like should i say something or should i just try to you know de-escalate so what i did was try to 
calm my dad down because I don't want him to be upset but he was really annoyed by it and rightfully so even the cashier who I was cashing with she was just like what happened to this lady like you were just you and your father was just there minding your business cashing and here you are like arguing about who's going in the line first like such stupid things in the midst of a pandemic that is the kind of crap that you want to be arguing over y'all i don't know i just had to vent a little bit because i was just like wow like wow they really have people like that out there <sighs> let me know in the comments what you would have done but i just thought she was really out of line and disrespectful so yeah okay guys so i am back home safe and sound yes i changed out of my clothes straight in the washing machine because my mother does not play right but yeah um I still kind of feel it though it feels a little sore but i'm definitely just gonna be very chill with it <laughs> i'm not even you know most people will like rip off this after a while like nah it took me like a couple of days to take off the first shot but yeah that um was basically my experience of course you all know i will keep you all updated um because of my job as well as the fact of you know just for safety reasons i felt it necessary to be vaccinated um like as i kind of hinted earlier there is another reason why it is i wanted to be vaccinated but that that information <laughs> you will have to hold on for in another upcoming vlog next week so yeah but um yeah i i feel good i don't feel you know any side effects so that is a good thing right so i appreciate you guys so much for watching this video please let me know what it is your thought of the episode that my dad and i had to deal with like people out here are crazy that's the way i'm seeing it but yeah <laughs> i i haven't even told my mother yet but she'll find out when she watches this video <laughs> But thanks so much for watching, guys. All right, I appreciate your love and support. We are so close to a thousand subscribers, and I'm excited. I feel like if we're gonna get there soon, and that's gonna make me so happy. So thanks so much for watching. I love you all so much. Thank you for constantly supporting. See you in my next one. Bye.